Hi, my name's Liv. Today we're gonna talk about how to prime a liquid fuel stove. Basically, what priming is, is it's just preheating this type of stove. We wanna find a way to get the liquid gas that's in this canister uh, through this hose and have it vaporize. That's what we're going to cook with, that gas, up here in the burner. Before we get started, I do wanna emphasize that if you guys are gonna be testing out your cooking gear or using it, just be sure that you're doing so in a well-ventilated area. All right, kicking things off here. Your stove might look a little different than mine and we'll walk through those differences as we encounter them, but you wanna make sure that you're connecting your liquid fuel canister to the, your stove right down here. And then we're gonna open up the fuel canister, allow a little bit of fuel to pull into my cup right down here at the bottom. So I've already pressurized my canister here. Now we're just gonna let a little bit of fuel into the priming cup. Now that I've got a little bit of fuel down in my priming cup, I'm gonna check all of my access points here in my work area, make sure that I don't have any fuel having leaked and then everything's nice and closed. Perfect, I always wanna make sure that your fuel canister is closed off when we light this guy up. These stoves are pretty neat. There are storm, uh, storm matches, I should say. They're not gonna go out, so you just gotta let him burn himself out there. All right, we've got a little bit of a flame finally going up here on my liquid fuel stove. This flame is heating up that little metal tube there in the front. And what that metal tube does is once it gets nice and hot, the liquid fuel then vaporizes as it hits the burner. And that's where you get your gas from. All right, now that we've got a little bit of a flame here, we're gonna open this guy back up. That's what we wanna see. Ooh. All right, so what you want to look for next are these blue flames here. Once you see those blue flames around the inside of the, uh, the burner, you can go ahead and throw your pot on there. You're ready to cook. You're ready to rock. So if it turns out that the flame hadn't caught and you're not seeing this, it just happened to go out, best thing to do, turn that fuel back off, let it burn through the fuel that's already in the, uh, the cup at the bottom, wait for everything to cool, and then start again. All right guys, that's about all there is to priming your liquid gas stove. If you happen to have any other questions or are interested in, in backpacking stoves in general, we do have another video on the differences between using a liquid gas stove and perhaps a canister fuel stove. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.